check it out. You may have seen a podcast called Fresh and Fit, which is a podcast based on Miami, where particularly in their After Hours edition, they feature a nightly panel of different women per episode. This video is to tell you that the women who appear on Fresh and Fit represent all women. If she drinks regularly, almost to the point of addiction, I'm talking about maybe you've seen some Instagram stories of people you know that this individual, maybe a couple of people you know, she happens to be at every single brunch spot possible, but always with an alcoholic beverage on the side. Kids, mimosas are not part of this nutritious breakfast. You might have even seen in her Instagram posts or social media posts that, quote, she can't wait for more shots. I'm talking about the alcohol, not the booster. And this might just be me, but I've seen some ladies drink so much to the point that she starts screeching. And the screeching noise is so loud that I might need to invest in some earbuds. No cap. Because if I really want to hear some screeching, I'd rather watch an animal documentary. Another thing besides excessive drinking is if she partakes in nighttime activities excessively. And I'm not talking about going to the occasional concert. I'm talking about every week, every day, every couple of days. It becomes a frequent occurrence. And when I mean nighttime activities, I'm talking about going to raves, clubbing, going to bars, essentially activities that really go down at the nighttime. Because here's the thing, I get going to raves, but how many times do you really need to hear <laughs> multiple times? It's like one time should be good enough for the week or one time should be good enough for the month, but every day something's going on. Plus, a lot of ladies still go to the bar or the club yet have a boyfriend at the same time. How does that work? And I don't really get it. Why do you go to the club or to the bar, maybe with a couple of your female friends, knowing the fact there's a bunch of dudes who are going to stare at you, right? I mean, that's a fact. When you go out to a bar, you and your couple of your female friends, there's a bunch of random dudes staring at you, right? Yeah, why do you still do that when you know you have your significant other, your man is waiting for you at home? I don't get it. And I've been in some weird situations, right? So there's been many times that I'm at the bar, I'm at some kind of a nighttime establishment, I'm grooving with somebody, she's digging me, I'm digging to her, we're dancing to the music, and you know when that music by Justin Bieber comes out, right? That yummy, yummy, yum, right? I, I, I gotta get in with the action, and as soon as we're grooving, bam, she gets a phone call from her boyfriend, I hear the speakerphone yelling, where are you at? Where are you at? Well, I'm not seeing you there. I'm like, man, not again. I guess I gotta move on to lady number 10. Third part, besides excessive drinking or regularly participating in nighttime shenanigans is that she's near or has access to a major western city, possibly a college town. There's a reason why there's a term called city girl instead of country girl when it refers to certain activities. After all, it's really during the nighttime when things go down. Now that we've established that if she were to be an excessive drinker, maybe participates in nighttime activities on a regular basis, as well as access to a major westernized city, then we can safely say that the ladies on the Fresh and Fit panel are likely to represent such women. And you may have heard the phrase from various RP or Red Pill content creators that the hardware is different, but their software is the same. The hardware is different, but the software is the same. And that's a fact. But there are degrees to being a city girl. Maybe she's not a full-fledged city girl member. Maybe she's more at the 30 degree level. Maybe she's going all the way up to 100. Even possibly beyond 100. I'm talking about hidden levels. The ones we haven't even seen on paper possibly over 9,000. But here's an example I'd like to give you. I'd like to give you Jacob Pauls from the movie series Twilight into the picture. Jacob appears to be a normal person by day, but at a certain time of the night, Jacob transforms into something completely different from what was once a human into a werewolf. Most importantly, 
in this particular timestamp of this clip, Myron Gaines Grilling, Myron states that the Fresh and Fit podcast has hosted over 1,600 women from all certain backgrounds. I'm talking about lawyers, students, OnlyFans models. So regardless of profession, a lady can be completely normal during the day, yet at nighttime, transform similar to how Jacob from Twilight transformed into a city girl level going all the way up to a different level, maybe even beyond 100. And that's keeping it real. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, put a like and subscribe, put a comment below if you got something to say about it. I'll see y'all next time.